Hey guys, it's JD and welcome back to my channel, but most importantly, welcome to episode 6, part 6 of Hogwarts Legacy. And as you might have uh, Professor already... Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay, there's a lot of mail coming through now. Netty just sent you an owl post requesting to meet her in Lower Hogsfield Hamlet. Okay. Hang on, hang on. Let me do a proper intro to my video, guys. Um, as you might have seen, I have to get out from the screen first. Uh, world map. Okay, now we've got the world map available. Look at this map. Look at this flipping map, guys. How big is this? Huh? How big is this? Most of them is covered by fog, limiting that you, limiting what you can see. Okay, so uh, hamlets are small communities throughout the world. Okay, that's a hamlet there. Hamlet provide new opportunities for vendors, flu fames, side quest, and collectibles. Exit field guide. As you explore, you will remove fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities like hamlets, dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. As if there was not enough things to do in this game, now we have bandits, caves, and whatever. This is looking good. Now, as you might have seen, I have changed literally every single piece of clothing on my character. And I have to apologize because I always thought that when you were discovering something um, a piece of clothing which was not showing in the gear section here uh, I thought it was just a collectible so I was wrong so basically what I missed was and I discovered this like fiddling around um, as you can see when you hover over like neckwear cloaks and robes outfit whatever you see there's a square option change appearance if you press that there's everything you found before in the game you can switch to without um, changing your uh, defense or offense levels so that's quite cool so I wanted to yeah give him I don't know it does he look like a, does, he, <laughs> does he look like a wizard I'm not sure it does maybe with a different kind of hat maybe we put this hat on again but no, because this this hat is not dark. I want I want a dark hat. All right. This is our character now. Forty-one defense, thirty-two offense, level nine, going on to level ten. Okay, so uh, we've got posts. Luke and Brettleby. It's time to prove your dwelling nettle and see if we've if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Lucan. Okay. Plenty to do. Plenty, 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 plenty to do. But I in this episode, I want to start this episode by by um doing this guys i want i, I I'm, I'm i mean i'm curious what that brings like as as a reward so let's go let's do it let's start it off there's six of them and i'm pretty sure um i we can do it now we don't need any more magic Probably it was just an oversight because the, the mission was given to us. The quest was given to us so early in the game. So it doesn't really make sense not being able to complete it now. There's a lot. There's some quests that we need to attend to. That. There's the treasure map that we, Muhammad Ali gave us. <laughs> um, so there's a lot pending and I don't like having things pending. Uh, to start and finish something so 
this, if I remember correctly, the thing is that they were hidden, like, um, in uh, high areas, and the first one... I'd better one, keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. The first one was There's here. the fountain. I'm getting closer. Fountain? Oh, the treasure map. Okay, give me some time. This one is here, so we need to get it somehow. I think we can get it by... Akio! This is absurd, man. Maybe different angle? Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Uh, okay. Um, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I just something got got into my mind now. If we go to inventory and we have a look, uh, Arthur's map. Can I open? View. Okay. Exactly. Look, there he is. So we found the the rhino. We found the fountain, and now see that door encircled. So I'm thinking that this frame here, this portrait, this whatever picture, is accessible through this door here. So I am gonna try my luck since we're here. I wasn't planning on doing this. I wasn't even planning on doing this. Um, the Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? The stairwell looks promising. Just when I think I've learned how to get around the castle, a staircase moves and I'm lost again. Akio! I got a peek at the prefect's bathroom last year. I'd miss class for a week to soak in that tub. Pease was in a mood the other day. And there it is. This there looks like is. the portrait from the map. Exactly. And where's the treasure? Uh, where's the treasure? Rebellion. <sighs> okay, how can we do this? Okay, so if we remove... I think we need... Uh, I, I think I'm hitting two birds with one stone here, so I do this and press triangle and then... Lumos! No. Levioso! No. Akio! No. Revelio! What else? Akio! Lumos! Levioso! I'm not gonna burn it. So... This maybe? No. I highly doubt that... Repairer. Hang on, hang on. Akio. Ah. <laughs> there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Mm. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Authentic historian's uniform. Nice. Was there anything else I just missed there, or...? Okay, so, find Zenobia's... Okay, so we got it, we got it, we got it. Revelio. And now, probably... Akio! Is there something inside?
Revelio. This does something, definitely. What the hell? Can we use the Levioso? Revelio. Accio. Never mind, never mind. Let's. I don't send many owls to myself. What are you trying to get? What? Don't look at me like that. Just when I think I've learned how to get around the castle. <laughs> okay, let's do this and do that. Just again. reveal it. Got Lumos. This is Sphinx. Was in a mood for okay, I'll keep that in mind just in case. Probably they're not even far away, these locations here. I mean, it wouldn't make sense. Since you have to drag the, the butterfly and stuff. The moth. Revelio. Anyway. Let's not get diverted. Uh, where is our next stop? Through this door. Okay. Good black children. Let me just. I can't. Okay. I wonder when we start getting the the locks. By the way. Nice. This wooden statue bears the likeness of Pangur Don, fearless feline feline mouse hunter and devoted study companion. Nice. What's the point of even learning about herbology? We can't mm -hmm. What's that? I think we've been there. There was a chest, right? Yeah, it was a chest. We found a chest already, sir. Thank you very nice. Weasley uh, said you always found the door. Jesus, man, it's far away. Thank you. Oh, come on. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Exactly. That's number two, guys. Got it. Four more. Over there, I've not... always said that travel broadens the mind. It's the third one here. Oh, yeah, there is. Look. Okay, how convenient was that? Just across... The other room. Three out of six, fifty percent. Hopefully, the reward would be worth it. Now, uh, again, Muhammad Ali, right? <laughs> I keep on calling him Muhammad Ali now. Um, young Muhammad Ali said he had two treasure maps, correct? If, I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that's what he said. Two treasure maps. So if, if he had two treasure maps, that's even better. Lumos. I mean, I'm not sure that you can track those. Like the first one, we had tracked it because it was like 
a quest given to us by by someone. There's also these puzzles here, by the way. Which uh, I haven't looked into yet. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There it is, look. Akio. For... What the flippin' heck was that? Very convenient. Very convenient. Thank you so much. Nice. Now, I don't know if this is a normal thing in the game, uh, in the actual movie or book. That the, the stairs, like, will just... There's another one here, look. Hmm, I have to look into those. In the near future. In the near future. So, I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Hmm. There it is. Akio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I think it's close by, because it's not showing on the map. Must be close by. Is it? Oh, come on, why would you hide the last one? What sense does it make? Oh, there it is. It's not even hidden. It's hidden in plain sight. You. Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Very convenient, man. This room contains the house cup, Quidditch trophies, dwelling trophies, and other awards given at the school. Students who step out in line can be found polishing the silver here by hand as a reminder of the value of hard work. Nice, nice, nice. We need just one more. Just. Oh, hang on. What's this? Hogwarts Herbology Award, the recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology. Hogwarts bestows this special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff Mirabel Garlic from Mandrakes to Mistletoe and Bobu Bu Bu tubers to Bouncing Bulbs. Her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Well done, well done. Rebellion! Oh. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Okay, let's return to Zombia. Zenobia. Zombia. Jesus almighty. <laughs> it is 23.16, right? Like, quarter past 11 at night. I've been recording all day. And um, now I'm getting a bit tired. Nah, I'm joking. I'm not tired. So this will be probably the last video I will be recording today or maybe just another one after this depends how we end the episode like if like we're on a cliffhanger I'll probably do another one if not I won't. oh hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on live yo thank you and that's number 15 guys collect field collect yeah Let's have a look at the challenge. What 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 what's the reward basically? Uh, challenge this one field guide pages. We got a Hogwarts regalia hat which is black. 
So this might... Oh, Jesus, 25. Hogwarts Regalia Ensemble. Ooh. Okay, so if we go to gear, let me have a look. Quick look, because I would like to change the hat, to be honest. But I wanted a, I wanted a dark hat, which we can have now. Yeah, this is much... This is This fits better our... Our um, look. Thank you. Uh, let's keep on moving, finding Zenobia, and then I was thinking um, maybe we can go and finish off the the dwell quest. Oh no 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 no! Not today. Yeah, fin maybe finish off the dwell quest. Winning the tournament, well, try to win the tournament. The thing is, I don't have a lot of... I have only just one health potion. Which probably is gonna be the, the final round, right? So it's gonna be hard. Last time we fought four. No, last time we fought three. It was three against two. So I don't know if it's a good idea or not. We'll try. Why not? We'll try. Um, I think we should be close. No? She was down here underneath the staircase, right? Revelio. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Oh, we can keep them? Thing is, what do they do? What do they bring to the table? No, let's give it to Of them. course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. No problem. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Wonderful idea. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Good luck then. What do we get? Okay, a wand handle. Wand handle. Okay. Not bad, I guess. Because I don't think, like, it's not like, um, I don't think that wand handles bring anything like yeah, but it doesn't give you anything, right? I mean, as in more strength. Like, it's not like in God of War. Quite like this, though. I don't know. I, I stand to be corrected, guys. But I don't think they bring anything to the table. No. Quests, quests, quests. Uh, hmm. Let's do this. I want to close it off, man. I want to close it off. Go, let's go. I forgot how fast this block can can run. Sometimes not even. Oh, can t have I tried? Rebellion. Hmm, that thing there. Hmm. Levioso. Levioso now. Lumos. Lumos now. Accio. Okay. Revelio. Okay. 
Don't mind me. Can we fix you up? Lumos. Levioso. I think we can probably we need to fix her up. As we try Repair her. No. Ah, okay. Where Off on another adventure, are we? Of course, my friend. Um, champion coming through. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. I'd like the yeah, final. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? This bloke looks like <laughs> the, the the young boy that deals drugs in a back alley. <laughs> like, absolutely. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Sebastian, right? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. One, That's the spirit. Two, three, four. Fucking hell. Four against two now. Uh, yeah, four against two. Break through red shields with damage spells, like the fire making spell Incendio. Target lock. Okay. So red is with Incendio. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Incendio. It's not gonna be easy, it's four against two. Ouch. Potato! On defending, counter attacking. Where is seven all this? Pissing I did it all by my deals. fucking self. Jesus almighty, man. It was a good fight, though. What a victory! You've won the tournament! Fucking hell. It's an honor. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it 
is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it. What you it? are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. <laughs> what did we get? Yes. Okay. The best duelist won, I suppose. Of course the best duelist won. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Yeah, 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 whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever, sis. Whatever. Okay, so let's have a look at the quests. Because now we have Professor Hackett's assignment 2. Herbology class and the girl from uh, Agadu. Let's do this. Because I think that Professor Hackett's assignment 2 means that we're going to get either a another spell or improve our spell. So let's do that. Let's move, let's go. It's not she's not that far away. Luckily. Lost to a new student. Hmm. I didn't see that coming. Haha. <laughs> you can't be beat, can you? No, I can't be beaten. No, 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 no. I'm a natural born duelist. Is it that is that a name? Duelist? Like a word? Rebellion. I don't know how what to do with this, man. Levioso! <laughs> Repairer. I don't know. Move it, move it, move it. I wonder when we start unlocking doors. Let's go down. I mean, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't look far, but it is far. I mean, this place is so big, man. Professor Hackett, attend defense against the dark arts class during the day. Ah. I can change that. Okay. By pressing R3, you change the night to day. Talk, Professor Hackett. Professor, I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. 
You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Uh, as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Okay, so that's it. Okay, can we... What's this? thing here okay access the map and press r3 wait here to advance time yes okay so now we should be able to Yes. I think now it's changed. Before it didn't. Look at me there. The only one with like totally different uniform and stuff. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. I did. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay What's close that? attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Expelliarmus? Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. What, what, what is it? Disarm? Are you disarming an enemy? Well, which is it? <laughs> this, is, this, this is it, right? Disarms wands and weapons from most enemies who wield them. Also deals damage to all enemies even if they don't carry a weapon okay so let's do this i'm gonna kick the shit out the out of the mannequin definitely expelliarmus you seem to have the right end of the stick but keep practicing expelliarmus may save your life one day Expelliarmus! Incendium! Levioso! Accio! Incendium! Expelliarmus! Still Is that enough? Is that enough? I think... I think that's it. I mean, we didn't even have to. Um, we didn't even have to try it on the mannequin. Okay, so now, moving on to other quests. What do we have? We have two men. Kashi, what's Kashi in the castle? I should let Arthur know that I saw the. Ah, okay, yes, 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 why not?
Yes, let's uh, speak to young Muhammad Ali. Let's go. So we close this off as well. Well, actually, I don't think we'll close it off because I think he has a um, a second map. I might be mistaken, but I think that's what he said. Imelda Reyes is on her way to become a flyer and hopefully Hey. Made any progress with your treasure map? Fellow Arthur, thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Okay, so well, he did one. Well, on did to one. the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might be already interesting. Okay, that's that now. Uh, how far we are? How far in recording? Mm. Um, Nettie Onai has asked me to meet her at a hamlet called Lower Hawksfield, just south of Hogwarts. I should see what she wants. And then there's the herbology class. Um, let's do the herbology class. Let's go and learn something. Something new. Sometimes they run so fast you can't like control them. Like, see? Never go out this way, so three broomsticks right now. Have a chat. She grows hundreds onions again. There was this okay, quest. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Oh, my God, the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. We've done this so well, man. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. 
Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> Why? Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh, that's why protecting the ears. Okay. Quickly, place your mandrake in the new port and pat down the soil. Holy shit. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket. Putting the mandrake right at ease. At ease. Repero. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. That's fine. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. That's me. Mm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. <laughs> Profs? Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. That's fine. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Nice, wasn't thank easy you. to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fan. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Disney seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Okay. Sure. I need to use the potting table to plant a Dittany seed. Seems simple enough. It is simple enough. Well, hang on. Let's collect some Dittany seeds first, because most probably I don't have any. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. I never attended Professor Sharp's class. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do okay. with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take. Don't be repetitive, come on. Pardon no. me, Professor. Nah. Your part in all this. <laughs> Apologies about that. Okay, the leaves of this medicinal herb are used in Wiganweld potion. Dittany seeds can be purchased at the Magic Neep and can be grown in pots of any size. Ready in 9 minutes 45 seconds. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Thank you for the heads up, then. 
Okay, Hello. so let's go and get Saw these Chinese... Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Chomp cabbage? Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian! And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. And hang on. Oh. He thinks he's good, well, but he's not. Thank you. Don't go I and tell him Sebastian that. I Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Uh, no offense. Sorry. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just my... Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Uh, okay, how do I toss? I'm sorry, what do I need to do? Garlic said she wanted you to have a go at tending the cabbages. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to it, really. Just toss some of those Chinese chomping cabbages out. <laughs> You'll see fairly quickly why we call them that. L1. No, that's not it. Okay, so... L1 Release L1 to equip And then I need to attack the target then with a chomping cabbage Look at that! Okay They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on Holy shit <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Can we use that in combat? Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. No, that'd be good in a fight. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Okay, let's go back. Let's get some of... Not some, we right. took them all. Basically, anything else I can take from here? I don't think so. Yes, there was. Why am I carrying the book in my hand? Like, it's very stupid. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okay, she seems... She seems really... A good person. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their news. Seems a good person. Cost me my now. To make anything. Uh, 
what we will do guys i think we will actually end this episode here there's one quest open which is the girl from Ugadu. Uh, we have to meet Netty on I in Lower Hawksfield. This is main main story mission. So I rather start off the next episode with it um, than doing it now because I don't know how long it is and I don't want that. I don't want the video to go like over an hour. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to whichever new. My name is Jared. And thanks. Stay safe and bye bye.